let's think about a more complicated series. How can we approach this series? It's the sum, k goes from zero to infinity, of sine of k squared divided by two to the k. Does this series diverge or converge? Looks suspiciously similar to a series that we do understand. Yeah, it looks a bit like this series, right? If I just got rid of this sine of k squared term and replaced it with a one, I'd have this geometric series. This series converges and its value is two. Let's be careful. I want a precise relationship between the mysterious series that I don't understand and the geometric series that I do understand. Precisely, right? How are these related? Well, sine of k is between minus one and one. So sine of k squared is between zero and one. And now if I were to divide all of this by two to the k, look, now I'd have sine of k squared divided by two to the k is between zero and one over two to the k. What's the original goal? What am I actually trying to understand here? I'm trying to understand whether this series converges or diverges. But what does that question mean? That question really means that I'm supposed to be looking at the sequence of partial sums. I should add up the terms between k equals zero and n, and then ask about the limit of the partial sums. And if this limit exists, well, that's exactly what it means to say that this original series converges. What sort of sequence is S sub n? Well, one thing I know about the sequence of partial sums is that the sequence of partial sums is non-decreasing. How do I know that? Well, the terms that I'm adding up look like this, and those terms are non-negative. So if you add a non-negative number, the result's not getting any lower, right? And that means that the sequence of partial sums is not getting any smaller, it's non-decreasing. Not only that, the sequence of partial sums, S sub n, is also bounded. So why bounded? Well, it again boils down to this inequality. Because this is less than this, if I add up a bunch of these, that's less than adding up a bunch of these. It's exactly what I'm saying here. If I sum all of these terms, it's less than or equal to the sum of these terms, because each of these terms is less than or equal to each of these terms. And that's just because sine squared of k is less than or equal to one. But I know something else here, right? This is a convergent geometric series. As I let n drift off to infinity, this is approaching two. So putting this all together, I've got that these partial sums are bounded by two. So I've got a bounded monotone sequence. But a bounded monotone sequence converges. So we know something about the original series. And because the sequence of partial sums converges, that's exactly what it means to say that the series converges. This idea, this idea of taking a series we do understand and using that series to explore a series we don't understand, this idea has a name. It's called the comparison test. This idea is important enough that in a future video, we're gonna write down a specific statement of the comparison test.